Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have this series and we have to check whether the series is convergent or not. We will try to find a pattern okay, in this series. What we have 5 plus 2 by 3 plus 1 plus 1 by 7 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 factorial and so on. So can you find any pattern here? See, if you observe first four terms, it is difficult to find any pattern, but for remaining terms, definitely we have the pattern. Okay, so what will we do? We will ignore first four terms since convergence of series does not is not affected by adding or removing first few terms. So that's why we will remove this. We will ignore first four terms and we will consider remaining terms. Uh, consider, let me mention, consider the series consider the series i am going to consider the series 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial and so on okay the same series we can write in this way also summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 upon n plus 1 factorial okay so this is a series which we are considering we have ignored first four terms but if this series is convergent, definitely the given series is also convergent. And if this series is divergent, given series is also divergent. Okay. So we are going to discuss its convergence using comparison test. In comparison test, one more series is required. So when we have two series, then we compare and we can conclude here. Okay. So for that, I'm going to use one result, which we have already studied in first year. So we know that, let me write, we know that we know that n factorial is always greater than or equal to 2 raised to n minus 1. This is true for all n belongs to set of natural number. Okay. So see this thing already we have studied in first year. So I will do small modifications here and the same thing we can write in this way. n plus 1 factorial is greater than or equal to 2 raised to n for all n belongs to set of natural number. Okay. The same meaning it has, but we have written in a different way. If you take reciprocal of both sides, inequality will get changed obviously. So therefore, we will have 1 upon n plus 1 factorial less than or equal to 1 upon 2 raised to n. Again, true for n belongs to set of natural number. See, in previous video, we have discussed the proof of comparison test statement also. So in comparison test, we have studied that is if we have two series having such type kind of relation. If the upper series is convergent, lower series is convergent. And if the lower series is divergent, upper series is also divergent. So we have this kind of relation here. Clearly, clearly, one thing we can write clearly, summation 1 upon 2 raised to n. Okay, summation 1 upon 2 raised to n, that means if you expand, you will have 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus and so on. So it's a geometric series. Why I am saying it is a geometric series? Since if you multiply first term by 1 by 2, we get a second term. If you multiply second term by 1 by 2, you get a third term and so on. So that's why it is a geometric series. Let me mention here clearly is, let me mention, is a geometric series with common ratio R is 1 by 2. Okay, common ratio is what? 1 by 2. So see 1 by 2 that means if you multiply first term by 1 by 2 we get a second term second term by 1 by 2 we get a third term that's why I'm saying common ratio is 1 by 2. See in previous videos we have seen if you have any geometric series with common ratio r if mod r is less than 1 it is a convergent series okay so here let us find its mod mod r which is equal to mod of 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 which is less than 1 getting so therefore what can we say it is a convergent series so therefore summation 1 upon 2 raised to n, n running from 1 to infinity is convergent series, getting, and comparison test says, if the upper series is convergent, lower series is also convergent. So therefore, what can we say? Therefore, by comparison test, let me mention by comparison test, what can we write? The lower series, which is summation, 1 upon n plus 1 factorial n running from 1 to infinity is convergent series getting so that means the series which we have assumed initially that is also convergent so as i told you earlier this series we have obtained by re removing first four terms so if if you add first four terms you will have the given series if this series is convergent then given series is also convergent so let me mention therefore given series is convergent series okay so in this way we proved 
the given series is convergent series using comparison test. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.